By early April, 1865, the Civil War was all but over. The main Confederate commander, Robert E. Lee, surrendered to Grant at Appomattox. A jubilant Lincoln appeared at a White House window on April 11 to say a few public words. He said he wanted clemency for the rebels, and then he dropped a bombshell. He became the first president to recommend the vote for African Americans. I would myself prefer that it were now conferred on the very intelligent and on those who serve our cause as soldiers. As the war uh, wore on, Lincoln became more and more committed to emancipation. Lincoln is a very complex person, and I really like that because I think it's important that we understand that um, humans are not uh, one-dimensional or two-dimensional people. We grow, we change. But for one man listening to Lincoln outside the White House, the prospect of black voting rights was too much to bear. That means nigger citizenship. That's the last speech he will ever make. John Wilkes Booth, April 11th, 1865. Booth, who'd grown up in a slaveholding family in Maryland, was one of America's best known actors. He was also a fanatic for the Southern cause and had been planning for some time to kidnap Lincoln. Now, with the Confederate government about to collapse, he decided on a more drastic action. John Wilkes Booth believed that Abraham Lincoln was truly an evil man. And Booth believed that by killing him, he would be doing a service to both his nation and to his race. Booth was a white supremacist. About this same time, Lincoln spoke of having a strange dream he imagined himself going downstairs in his nightshirt and seeing a coffin in the East Room on a fancy catafalque, and mourners gathered all around it, sobbing. And he said something like in his dream, who is this who lies dead in the White House? And a person said, it is the president. He has been shot by an assassin. 